Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I bake my face. Baking has been all the rage of late, so let's get on with the video. I'm starting with moisturizing my face with the Lakme 9 to 5 Insta Light Brightening Moisturizer. It, you know, leaves a brightening finish to the skin and it also mattifies to a great extent then i'm priming the skin with the innisfree no sebum primer it is one of my current favorites i think it works really well at controlling the oil on my skin which is very oily moving on to priming the eyelids with the mac painterly paint pot this has also been you know i've rediscovered my love for this one after a gap of a really long time and yeah if you have very oily lids i think the paint pots are a really good option to try concealing the under eye dark circles with the clinique even better concealer in orange brightener this orange shade will cut out the bluish discoloration under the eyes after the color correction we move on to concealing the under eyes and i'm going to use the bobby brown concealer stick here And I'm basically uh, applying uh, the concealer in a triangular shape under the eyes and I'm going to blend it with a color bar blending brush. For the rest of my face too, I'm skipping foundation for this video and I'm going to just apply a little bit of MAC Studio Finish Concealer over any spots and blemishes that I have. Again, I'm using the same color bar brush here and just pinpoint concealing the spots that I have. As a rule, you always apply liquid and cream products before any powder. So I'm applying the Benefit High Beam Liquid Highlighter here and um, you know just to give a subtle glow to the skin because I'm going to apply a powder on top. So I just want that lit from within glow here and I'm applying it to the tops of the cheekbones, to the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow and to the chin and uh, this is also something which is you know mostly uh, the strobing technique that is being talked about these days so if you want me to do a separate video on strobing give this video a thumbs up and let me know the same in the comments below next i'm just dabbing in uh, the cream products that i've already applied with the help of the sigma f80 flat top kabuki brush and just you know a light layer of the mac studio fix powder plus foundation all over the face this is my favorite favorite compact powder of all time it works really well for my oily skin i'm going to use the krylon tl4 powder for baking and i'm spraying some mac fix plus onto a sponge and then i'm going to pick up the krylon powder onto the sponge and apply a generous quantity under the eyes and basically just leave it there to cook or bake or basically just set the concealer with that powder for some time i ideally you leave it for about say five minutes and once you know the baking process has completed you dust off that powder and you're left with skin which looks highlighted naturally highlighted from within and also applying it under the area where i'm going to apply the contour product the dark darker contouring product and yeah just going to dust it off after say about five minutes while the base is setting i'm quickly doing the eyes here and i'm using the coastal sense revealed eye palette here just a light brownish shade on the crease to define the crease better and then i'm going to use a light champagne shade on the rest of the eyes here i'm using the mac 217 brush to blend the crease and this is the champagne, you know, pale champagne shade that I'm using all over the lid using a Real Techniques brush. And then I'm going to just lightly apply a deeper brown on the outer part and blend it towards the crease. 
using a fluffy brush from Real Techniques, I'm just dusting off that uh, yellow powder that we applied earlier. The makeup has, you know, been baked now or it has already set now and the excess powder can now be removed. And as you can see, I'm just using very light strokes to remove the powder and the skin underneath looks highlighted. Moving on to the cheeks, I'm using the Sugar Bomb Blush by Benefit from the Sugarlicious makeup kit and applying it to the apples of my cheeks, taking it upwards to create a kind of a contour. Next, I'm using the Sleek Contouring Kit in Medium and I'm going to define the contours of the face or the hollows of the face basically the hollows on the cheeks the sides of the nose etc and just darkening that area a little bit with the darker powder I'm just applying here the highlighting shade from the same sleek kit and applying it to the high points of the cheeks and the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin. Finishing off the eyes, I'm just setting the brows here with the NYX Eyebrow Setting Wax, uh, the wax pencil. And then moving on to the eyeliner, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner in Sapphire Blue. And I applied that off camera. Now I'm curling my eyelashes. And then I applied two coats of the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara to the curled lashes. Moving on to the lips, I first lined them with the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in Hey Macadamia or Hey, I hope that's how you pronounce it. And then I, you know, lined and filled my lips with this lip liner. It's a gorgeous, nudie lip liner for my complexion and it acts as a nice base. Next, I'm going to apply my favorite everyday lip color, the Bobbi Brown Sheer Lip Color in Carolina. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous everyday wear lip color and I cannot get enough of this shade. Finishing off with a dab of my favorite perfume, the Body Shop White Mask EDP. And yeah, this is the final finished look and this is how I make my makeup on a regular everyday basis, especially for daytime wear. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.